What's up everybody? Out here at James Long Park. Gonna go for a little ride on the fat bike. So yeah, let's go. Hopping on and and off. We're at the uh, top of the hill. The descent is always one of the best parts. Whew. Here we go. And five coming up. Good thing for dropper post and easy gears. Okay, made it up the switchbacks over here. Uh, might get a little bit more elevation than this, but this is pretty much it. Kind of the side of a, a little bit of a ridge line. climb here here down all the way ah, I forget how many gears are on this nine or ten gets the job done Gosh, got myself winded already. Not even a mile in. I gotta pace myself. If you go kind of quick, it's a pretty fun little blue trail here that they got. Can't wait for pink on the other side to get finished because that should be that should be a blast also. So I'm gonna dial it back a little bit. I don't have a heart rate monitor to tell you what that is, but I did say I was gonna dial it back, right? Okay. Now we get back.
Going down. Oh shit. Drop. A little loose in that corner there. <laughs> That was it, that's about, about 0 0.9 miles. Time to cross. Oh, let's see if I can do this without falling in. That would suck. Lots of flies. Okay, so that's blue. Kind of gonna go up here fork to the left or the right. We're gonna go to the right and that'll connect with the new pink trail. Let the climb begin, drop her up. Okay, we're gonna go right, go left. It's a lot steeper and uh, well, I don't feel like doing that right now. This is not exactly a walk in the park either. You can see that the front wheel was wanting to lift a bit there so I really gotta all right leveling out oh, avoid the horse shit okay yeah that's the fun of mixed use trails all right so this is gonna be the entrance to pink you know with this big kind of rock slab here off of blue as a, as a marker plus you know the flags but they'll have trail markers up once it gets complete all right let me take a breather and we'll go into pink so before i go into pink i'll give you guys just a quick little bike check as people have been asking me about just this fat bike in particular so it's a 2019 giant yukon and changes are that I've added the PNW dropper. It's a 150 and the saddle came off my truck Roscoe. So it's whatever that Bontrager model is like the Avada or Arvada or something like that. I'm running PNW range pedals, which are awesome. Lightweight composite, really like those things. Um, the decals on the side of the frame were added by the previous owner, just kind of kept them on. It, the decals a lot larger on the non-drive side cockpit wise I changed a bit so it did come with the DMR death grips which I've learned I, I do really like a lot and then I changed over the was it MT201 brakes to these Shimano 6120 so four piston front and four piston rear really like these guys a lot they feel very similar to the SLX brakes I run on my other bikes so it's just familiar and the performance is Pretty much the same and then i'm running a pnw i'm oh, sorry the wolf tooth uh light action lever which pairs really nice to this pnw uh loam dropper and then it's got the pnw range bar non-cut full 800 width uh, so yeah there it is let's get on pink okay so this trail is not complete. Uh, they are working on it. As you can see, it's pretty much like uh, there as far as clearing goes, but they're going to have this trail uh, graded professionally here pretty soon, so it, it will change. Um, let's, so let's go. Little hill to start. It is, as you can see, on the side of this ridge. So, pretty steep. Navigate some larger rocks there. I'm not sure if it'll eventually go left of that tree or right. Uh, I did go left. Let's see if we make it up 
here. The grade with those rocks definitely makes it tricky. Uh, as you know, you're fighting for front grip and just traction to make it up that hill. Not being not being graded really saps a lot of speed and takes just absorbs a lot of energy. All right, so you see we're on the sides of a steep grade here, and we got to get up. Oh, we made it. Okay. This gets graded. It'll be a lot of fun. was a bit of a climb here. Probably doesn't come up on video very well. But we're making it to the highest part, or maybe like second highest part of uh, on this side of the trail. This segment, rather. The highest part is right ahead of us. See, if you go slow, those roots are slippery. If I just went for it there, I would have made it. Okay, so there's the climb we gotta do, and that'll be the highest point. that front tire down. So now we can either go left, up and through the woods, or we go down, and that kind of takes us into an unfinished area. So I'm gonna go left, up the hill, and through the woods I know how to get out. Not that I can't get out that way, but this is just easier. You'll also recognize this landmark with the big, the big rocks there, and maybe uh, this will be like some sort of a beeline potentially. Pretty cool. All right. So now I'm back to where we started. That's it, there's my loop of blue, soon to be pink, and back to the start.